I remember watching Time Runner years ago, but it wasn't until I watched this sci-fi classic with Mark Hamill recently that I began to look at it another way. It begins with an alien invasion in 2022. So what they were saying is they had a battle with this extraterrestrial group, but technically the vehicle states that it is from the United States in a company called Electrodyne. And they talk about bombs that they had in reserve in the Ukraine that helps defend the earth from this vehicle that is coming in rather quickly. And considering all the weapons that we have recently sent to the Ukraine over the past year, we're saying it's over a span of time between 2022 and 2023 that we're looking at um, another weird synchronicity with the film. Mark Hamill also is known for his big hit in Star Wars as Luke Skywalker. He becomes a time traveler in the past to save the world and track down what happened. The first confrontation is with a group of shape-shifting aliens and someone tracking the time traveler as he went through the portal. And what is interesting is this shapeshifter called Colonel Freeman of the ISC. He looks strangely like a man that I recall seeing in one of the courtrooms in New York City during a questioning with Donald Trump. Some people were questioning his unusual appearance. I also saw that they somehow look similar. Then there is this governor of the future or future president. We see that this individual is also a shapeshifter and is approached by Michael, who is Mark Hamill. And he refers to him as Mr. President or Chairman. He says to him, the future of our world and the very existence depends on you, Mr. President. I begin to look at Mr. Neela, who is the one that he was calling the president. And he says that he has a contract with aliens and there is no reason for them to strike them with missiles. At this moment, I began to see a strange resemblance to Donald Trump. Maybe it was the hair color, the way he spoke, the uniqueness of Donald Trump and the assertiveness. Felt very recognizable to me. Then you see him campaigning, talking about that money was well spent on the space station and it will bring in world peace and there will be food for the hungry and shelter for the homeless and God bless America. And I thought all the many patriotic speeches of Donald Trump, and I kept that in mind, and this could be any president, but not many of them seem to connect so well with time travel. And I consider Donald Trump's uncle, who connected to Tesla years ago and claiming to have contact with non-terrestrial beings. So to me, that was a parallel. Here's a little bit about the movie and uh, some more about time runner i suppose that others might explain it a little more they talk about him going through a wormhole in particular and then they they threaten him at the end they say that they're going to kill him as a baby and just to get rid of him so he can never interfere here is something really interesting if the reports are to be believed it says this is in ranker al bielik has led quite the life after meeting mark hamill in 1956 Yes, that Mark Hamill. Bielik was recruited to work for the Montauk Project, a government time travel project with an unspecified mission. According to Bielik, he not only traveled from California to Montauk via time travel, it sure beats taking the red eye, but he also took the multiple trips to Mars. He said he met Mark Hamill in 1956. Mark Hamill was born in 1951, but I got the impression that he was talking about meeting Mark Hamill as an adult, not as a child. Here's a picture of Mark Hamill. He had an unusual car accident in 1977. I don't know why, but for me, maybe he aged, but he does look different to me in these two pictures. There was this other kind of weird thing about saying that there was a taller Mark Hamill. 
and there was a shorter one. There was supposedly two of them that were showing up in the movie. And he's had quite a few conspiracy theory issues. Here is the individual that we were referring to that was the president and the hair coloring, the expression in, in his face has some small resemblance to me with Donald Trump. Although I'm not pro-Trump or against Trump, it's just a fact. What I'm saying about this is it's not to discredit Donald Trump, it's not to promote Donald Trump, but to reveal that there is something else going on here. And is it possible that this was one of the timelines that they wanted to see happen? Is this why Donald Trump became president? Is it possible that this is the reason why he wasn't able to come back again because of this movie and maybe perceived as a foreshadowing of what might happen or who he might be in association with time travel and so forth? Um, it's clearly speculation, I guess, on my part, but I do see, as I said, some similarities. Here is the individual that I was referring to that reminds me of the other person. Oh. Watch and this eyes. man right here. Watch his eyes. And so we're looking at him and the character here from Time Runner. This man goes by the name of Colonel Freeman of the ISC. And we'll get try to get a better picture of him. You see him here. Let's take a look at this. For me, they look similar. You might disagree, but needless to say, Mark Hamill is definitely someone to talk about as someone to take a look at. And uh, there was even an article where you see that Mark Hamill was making comments negatively about Donald Trump, which would reflect also a reaction or something that occurred in the movie. So with that said, I think we're going to wrap this up and hope you enjoyed the insight. And as I said, you know, it's up to you, people, whoever you decide to vote for. And, you know, we want to make sure that everything is legitimate as possible. But I do ask for the highest intention for humanity and for the United States, because the United States does impact the rest of the world. So let's all um, keep our eyes open and see what else is revealed.